everybody, Shabo here, back from another video, and today I'm showing you how to make a ragdoll in Roblox. So the first thing I'm going to want to do is get all of the tabs open. So first, if the bar with all the stuff on it isn't up there, you can click this arrow. It should appear like that. Now we're going to go to View, Explorer, Properties, and you can use Output if you want. And then you can go back to Home. And now we're going to start making our ragdoll system. So, first, you're going to want to open up Starter Player. In Explorer, right click it, insert object, and then script. This should appear on your screen. We're going to want to move the script from here into starter character script. Going to move it inside of there. You can name it whatever you want. I'm just going to name it Ragdoll Script. Now we're going to start coding it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is get rid of this first line right here. You can do a backspace, or you can just hover over it, and then delete it. So now, we're going to want to make some variables. So local humanoid, which makes sure it's an actual player that we put this script inside of, equals script.parent, wait for child. We're going to do wait for child, just in case the humanoid isn't loaded in yet. And put humanoid right there. I'm going to press enter and go to the next line. And now, we're going to make the ragdoll system. So first, we're going to mod to make it. So, break joints on death equals false. So, when you die, your limbs don't separate and like go all over the place. Because we're gonna make it a ragdoll. And then we're gonna go we're gonna make it so when he dies, it turns all of the joints into like realistic joints and stuff. So humanoid.died connect function. I'm gonna make it look like this right here. It should look like this on your script. Now we're gonna want to replace all the joints, which are called motor sixties. So for index joint, we're doing a for loop so we can go through all of the joints and replace them. So for index index joint in pairs script dot parent get descendants. So it's gonna go through everything inside the character. And do and then we're gonna make sure it is a joint. So if joint is a motor sixty, then and press enter again. Now we're going to start replacing it. So I'm just going to make a bunch of variables and make a bunch of objects. The local socket. We're going to replace the joint with the socket. So instance.new ball socket constraint right there. And we're going to make the attachments too. So local A1, which stands for attachment 1, or you can just name these whatever you want. Do will instance.new attachment. We're gonna do that again on this other line. Then it should look something like this. Now we're gonna connect everything. So a1.parent equals joint dot part zero. So it's gonna go inside the limb that the joint is connected to. I'm going to do that for the same right here, except I'm going to put joint.part1. Now we're going to put the socket inside the joint parent right there. And then this, sh this should be inside the character. This should be inside limbs. And then, now we're going to start connecting it. So socket.attachment0 is a1. Socket.attachment1 
equals attachment two. And then we're gonna make it so a one dot c frame equals joint dot c frame zero. Then the same for the other one. So they're actually in the right places. The attachments needs to be in the right places on the limb. And then socket dot limits enabled equals true. So your leg can't go inside of you or anything. And socket dot twist limits enabled equals true too. So your leg can't just snap or anything. And then we're going to get rid of the real joint by doing that. Joint destroy. And then it should be working. So you can go to play by clicking this up here and then play. You can click this, reset, and then you should ragdoll. Like that. I'm just going to give a better demonstration. I have this in replicated storage. I'm just going to place it in workspace. I'm going to click play again. And then I'm going to ragdoll off this giant thing right here. I'm just going to stand on the edge. I'm going to reset. Then as you can see, it ragdolls. I bounce on the floor and stuff. And, for a little bit more customization, you can go to the Players thing in Explorer, and you can change how much time you're ragdolled by going in Properties and changing the respawn time right here. So if I change it to 3, I'm going to be ragdolled for 3 seconds, and then I'm going to respawn. So let me go right here. I'm going to reset. And I'm going to spawn back in three seconds. Like that. This can be as long as you want or as short as you want. You can even make it zero. And then you just won't ragdoll, ragdoll at all. And you'll just respawn. Or you can do 1,000, 10,000. Just as much as you want. Like nine 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 and stuff like that. But yeah. And that's how you make a ragdoll in Roblox. Make sure to slap that like button and punch that subscribe button. Peace.